Hello everyone, Moy Garcia Rebinds here. I have another review for you and uh, in this case I have a very very affordable two Bibles uh, from Trinitarian Bible Society also known as TBS. We got here the Royal Ruby Text Bible in vinyl paperback blue and here we have the Pocket Reference Bible also in vinyl paperback burgundy color. Um, these two Bibles are also available on their website. I'll put the link uh, below in the description box in different uh, bindings, okay, uh, hardback, uh, uh, leather bound. Uh, but I got these ones for review and uh, actually I think these ones are excellent also for a rebind because the paper is absolutely amazing. So let's take a look first to this one here. This is the Royal Ruby. It's a compact Bible. Uh, as you can see, this one doesn't have references. Now this is a small, uh, very portable Bible. Uh, it is uh, 5.4 inches tall by 3.7 inches inches wide uh, and uh, a little bit less than than uh, an inch uh, thick. Um, this Bible has a very small print, as you can see right here. Yet it's crisp and, in my opinion, quite readable. If you don't have bad eyes like I'm looking at this right now on the book of Daniel and I have no point whatsoever to read uh, from a normal regular distance and I can read perfectly well for example Daniel chapter 5 verse 3 then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God which was at Jerusalem and the king and his princes his wives and his concubines or concubines drank in them then drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver so you can see I have no point whatsoever my I mean I don't have uh, bad eyes but if you do and you are wearing glasses you shouldn't have any problem at all with this now this is supposed to be a carry a uh, Bible to put in your you know purse or in your uh, jacket pocket to uh, even in your jeans in your back pocket in your jeans to carry around with you uh, and uh, even if you have uh, to travel in the train or the bus, perfect. This is this is what you want. All right. So again, this is a 6.4. It is a black letter, as you can see right here. The paper is excellent. Uh, I don't see a lot of show through. Uh, the ghosting in this paper is minimal. Uh, I really like this paper. It is smite sewn and glued. Okay, so the the signatures are all sewn together. Then you got this glued where the cover is attached, right? So uh, it is a very affordable Bible, around uh, five six uh, pounds, right? So that's what we're looking at. And here is this is actually printed and bound by Print Corp in Belarus, okay? And also I see here that the typography. Okay, it's a junk blood planting design and typesetting by 2K Denmark. Right, that's uh, very neat to have. You have here different, uh, I'm gonna put there for a moment, leave it there for you to take it out, but check it out. So, this one comes with a uh, letter to King James, okay, which is the epistle dedicatory, basically, that's what that is. It's not, it's not the letters to the reader. And then we got the Genesis, all right? And this is a two column version, edition, with the verse by verse layout. And then in the back we have uh, the expanded Bible word list, basically that, uh, you know, it gives you some, it points out uh, some um, modern equivalents uh, for archaic words within the King James text. So. It's there. It's, it's nice to have it. And then we have some uh, drawings, illustrations of plants like thorn, uh, myrtle, myrrh, frankincense, 
Actually, we've got plants. We've got dates from palm trees. The sycamore. Uh, also, tree. Uh, olive tree. Mustard. And then we have here some, some birds like the kite, turtle dove, Egyptian vulture, pelican. All this you will find in the scripture, so it's nice, nice drawings, you know. Got the goat, bear, sheep, the camel. And then we have some Egyptian also drawings here for uh, the story in Exodus. We'll depict a bit of that. Water and vessels. We have also milestones and a whale. Typical from um, the time biblical times and some coins here as well that you can check. Alright. And then we have a reading the Bible text or plan, sorry. For two years. And one page of castle here too. And that's it. So this is uh, a very nice addition to carry everywhere yeah. and here we have the pocket reference edition now this one do, does come with uh, uh, a central column references okay so this is the basically the pocket uh, reference Bible uh, it uses the same font as the pit minion it's called the pit minion actually and uh, very reduced uh, size now this one is a five point font and the thickness is uh, 20 millimeter is like 0 0.8 uh, of an inch and this is 5.2 inches tall by 3.6 inches wide this one uh, is excellent for a, as a gift uh, it comes with the epistle dedicatory as you can see right here and it comes with the list of pronunciations uh, the pronunciation of words you know and proper names right here and at the end we're gonna find that we also have as you can see right here the Bible word list a Bible word list with meanings and, and modern equivalents and uh, another plan for two years to read the Bible, whole Bible, reading the Bible in two years, and a couple of pages here for notes. Now this one is also a smite sewn in the spine. It is sewn, it's not just glued. And like this one, this one also is uh, glued on top of it as a, a cover, as you can see right there. Okay, now which one do you want? This one is slightly smaller than this one. The font is a five point font. This one is still readable. I, I wouldn't use this as a main reader for obvious reasons, but it is very, very small and you can carry it anywhere. You can put this in your jacket, in your jacket pocket, no problem. So this one comes with a re reference column, okay? So you can use it as a, a little study on, on, you, on the go. This one doesn't come with references, but it does have a bigger font. So there's a give and take. No references, bigger font, with references, smaller font. Uh, both are, are great uh, pocket size, uh, I have to say. The, the difference, as you can see here, is not huge. But uh, definitely this one feels like a pocket reference Bible. This one still is, but it's slightly bigger. You see one side by side. You can see. All right. So I think you cannot go wrong with either of this. Uh, as I said, these are around five or uh, six dollars, five pounds if you are in the UK. Around that much in in dollars as well. These two are excellent options as well for rebinds uh, to customize uh, your cover with a nice leather cover, uh, dye the edges and 
you know, a matching color like red, blue, gray, green, purple, you name it. And uh, I think these two Bibles are excellent also as a gift to new to new believers, people that you may come across in the street, you know, four or five euros, pounds, dollars, I don't think. And it's, it's, it's uh, expensive at all. And the paper, as I said, is not bad at all. I think it's great. This, this was produced by Cambridge University Press for Trinitarian Bible Society. So there you have it. You have the ruby on the left and you got the pocket reference edition on the right. In the authorized King James Version of the Bible, put out by TBS, and uh, I put the direct links to their website uh, so you can find them easily. And I hope this has been a blessing to you. Please like us and subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, soon we'll have new uh, reviews coming up. I have a couple of Bibles that just arrived. Uh, very nice editions. I want to do a bit of everything. Uh, uh, not all Bibles have to be premium, but some Bibles that are not so premium still have a good use and a good uh, quality in them. So, uh, you know, uh, there is a Bible for every situation and there's a Bible for every person. So, the most important thing is that we actually read what's inside and that we live by this. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon in a new review of Rebind. Shalom.